Australia has been through its biggest mining boom yet. We've had non-stop GDP growth for over a decade. And in that decade, the profits of the mining companies in Australia have grown by more than 400%. And yet in this very same period, the proportion that these mining companies pay the public in tax and royalties has gone right down from 40% to just 13.9%. But while the rich have got fabulously richer, nearly 3 million Australians are living below the poverty line. And the recent cuts to the sole parent's pension have bumped thousands more women into poverty. Over the last few decades, the whole world has witnessed the most blatant excesses of corporate greed ever seen. The corporate rich have just shamelessly privatised everything they could lay their hands on. And then, when the global financial crisis, a direct product of their orgy of greed, came along, their loyal governments all around the world socialized their losses. The Socialist Alliance is campaigning to bring the mining industry, the big banks and the energy companies under the control and ownership of the people. The banks do not have to be run as a profit-gouging private operation. They can be run as a not-for-profit public service providing cheap credit to families, to community groups and to small businesses. Our collective savings can then be used to fund the sort of public infrastructure we need for a just and sustainable future. If the nationalisation of mines and banks can be carried out for the public good in countries like Venezuela and other progressive Latin American countries, why not here in Australia?